President Donald Trump says he's sending troops down to the southern border to protect the country from illegal immigrants until his border wall is finished. He says he'll be meeting with his military advisors about it soon. Trump did not provide any details on the military deployment he envisions such as how many troops he anticipates and from what branch or branches. Until we can have a wall and proper security we're going to be guarding our border with the military, Trump said at a meeting with Baltic state leaders. That's a big step earlier on Tuesday, Trump threatened to cut off aid to Central America as he fumed about a caravan of migrants from Honduras making their way through Mexico. Mexican authorities took steps on Monday to disband the caravan. They did that because I said you really have to do it, Trump asserted during the meeting on Tuesday, bringing up North American Free Trade Agreement. This morning, Trump said the caravan had better be stopped or he'd punish Honduras or other countries that allow this to happen, cash count F is in play, he warned in a tweet. Congress must ACT now, he said later that he found the entire situation, said, and as he railed against America's very bad border laws, which he blamed on congressional Democrats. We have immigration laws that are laughed at by everybody, he harped at the meeting with Secretary of Defense James Mattis. The caravan in question split in two on Monday evening, with a portion of the migrants taking a train to Veracruz. The bulk of the caravan was held up by Mexican authorities in Matias Romero Avendano, where travelers were registered and assessed, according to the Washington Post. Travelers who do not fit the criteria to receive a humanitarian visa will have to leave Mexico. The country's immigration services say they will disband the caravan by Wednesday. Trump said in news conference on Tuesday that he directed Mexico to break up the caravan because their immigration laws are stronger than the United States at present. We are preparing for the military to secure our border, he again stated. We have a meeting on it in a little while with General Mattis and everybody. The president has also suggested that the Pentagon could pay for his border wall, although it's not clear how that would work, either, since the military's funds are appropriated by Congress. Democratic sends. Jack Reed and Dick Durbin said Monday in a letter to Matias that the Pentagon has no legal authority to repurpose federal funds. The pledge to deploy troops and possibly choke off funding to countries that the U.S. assists with drug and crime prevention as a deterrent to such migration upped the ante in Trump's war on illegal immigration a week before he set to face the presidents of Mexico, Honduras, El Salvador and Guatemala at a South American summit. He was meeting at the White House with leaders from Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania on Tuesday when he went on a tirade about the caravan. President Trump debuted his hard-charging position on Easter Sunday in tweets renouncing his support for the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program that gives certain illegal immigrant youth from Mexico legal status. He continued his assault on Monday, tying the caravan making its way through Mexico to the policy and demanding action from U.S. lawmakers who have continually refused to acquiesce to his plan for better border security. The White House argued on his behalf that the DACA protections for illegal immigrant youth who came to the United States after a certain date are a magnet for unaccompanied children flooding the southern border. Senior administration officials said that smugglers are using the program as a way to rope in new travelers. They also cautioned that children coming across the border are likely to request amnesty in a decade the same the way that DACA recipients are now, creating an endless cycle of illegal immigration. Trump was once supportive of the DACA protections, urging Congress to codify the Barack Obama program his Department of Justice ended on constitutional grounds. The Republican president said legislators should show great heart for the young people who were brought to America from other countries. He had almost totally changed his tune on Monday following a long weekend with his top policy advisor, Stephen Miller, an immigration hardliner. By Tuesday the president was taking his demands even further and threatening to end nearly $1 billion in aid to struggling countries in Central America. Last year, Trump ended a program put in place by his predecessor that gave Central American minors temporary legal residence in the country if they had a parent living in the U.S. Trump's administration now says it wants to close additional loopholes that allow the unaccompanied minors to stay indefinitely in the United States, in addition to, to a request to seal up the border with a wall. Officials also demanded an end to the government's catch-and-release program that places illegal children from Central America into the temporary custody of relatives until their day in court arrives, which often takes years, and many do not appear. On a call with reporters on Monday afternoon, a senior Trump official claimed a spike in the number of unaccomplished minors was the driver, although U.S. 
Customs and Border Protection data from the current fiscal year shows a jump in November and December followed by a decline in the cruel winter months of January and February. A total of 136,201 individuals have been apprehended since the October 1st start of the fiscal year, CDP data shows, and 17,575 of them were children. In all but one month of fiscal year 2017 the year-over-year -year number of total apprehensions at the southwest border were also lower than in 2016, showing a slowdown in the number of illegal immigrants trying to re-enter the country since a 2013 surge prompted government action. That was the year after Obama introduced his DACA program for Mexican children who were residing in the U.S. and had arrived before the age of 16. The White House singled out the program on Monday as a poll factor for illegal immigrants from Central American countries like Honduras and resolved that it should end be permanently discontinued. Obama's response to the 2013 wave had been to double U.S. aid to Honduras, Guatemala and El Salvador, giving the three countries $750 million to tackle the drug and crime problems that were causing the country's citizens to leave in the first place. The money also funded a campaign explaining U.S. immigration law to Central Americans. The Trump White House said Monday that existing policy is not and has not been enough. Without a strong deterrent, it said, the children and families from Central America will keep coming to the U.S. We don't want to create a humanitarian crisis and create endless waves of new illegal immigration, one official told reporters. If you're gonna do it, it should be the last time you're ever gonna have to do it. Earlier on Monday, Trump toured into Mexico, claiming it had absolute power to prevent the highly publicized caravan of Latin American immigrants headed towards the country's joint border from illegally cross into the United States. The group of more than 1,000 mostly Honduran refugees started marching towards the U.S. on March 25, starting in the far southern Mexican town of Tapachula. The group plans to hold demonstrations in Puebla, Mexico on April 5-9 before continuing on to the U.S., where they plan to demand asylum. Seizing on the reports on Monday morning, Trump demanded that Mexico keep the caravan from crossing into the United States. They must stop them at their northern border, which they can do because their border laws work, not allow them to pass through into our country, which has no effective border laws, Trump proclaimed. The organization behind the caravan, Pueblos and Fronteras, or People Without Borders, fired back that Trump is trying to turn Central American refugees and other immigrant communities against each other, and use them as a bargaining chip with Mexico. In the face of this bullying and these threats of mass violence, we continue to stand in solidarity with displaced people of all races, ethnicities, creeds, abilities, and gender and sexual identities, the organization said. At its current rate, the caravan could reach the U.S. by early May, or earlier, with some immigrants speeding up their journey with trains or buses. Reports from the road indicate that Mexican authorities have been abandoning border checkpoints to let the group travel unimpeded and that locals are helping the caravan along the way, donating food and water. This has infuriated President Trump, who took to Twitter shortly after 7 a.m. Monday morning to demand action from Mexico and the U.S. government. Mexico has the absolute power not to let these large caravans of people enter their country, he claimed, assaulting his opposition in the U.S. legislature. Trump also said, Congress must immediately pass border legislation, use nuclear option if necessary, to stop the massive inflow of drugs and people. Border patrol agents and ICE are great, but the weak them laws don't allow them to do their job. Act now Congress, our country is being stolen, Trump went on to call America's border laws, pathetic, compared to Mexico's in the Twitter rant that invoked a trade agreement between the two countries and Canada that's being renegotiated on his orders. He argued that, Mexico is, making a fortune, on the North American Free Trade Agreement. With all of the money they make from the U.S., hopefully they will stop people from coming through their country and into ours, at least until Congress changes our immigration laws, he said. Another tweet tied the ordeal to an amnesty program in the United States for illegal immigrant children who were brought across the border from Mexico that Trump has pledged to end unless lawmakers give in to his border security demands. DACA is dead because the Democrats didn't care or act, and now everyone wants to get into the DACA bandwagon. No longer works, he said. Must build wall and secure out borders with proper border legislation. Democrats want no borders, hence drugs and crime, Trump implied in the tweet that he was permanently killing off the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. DACA protections do not extend to anyone who arrives in the U.S. after 2007, and recipients must also be under the age of 31.
It's currently in limbo after the President's Department of Justice deemed it unconstitutional. Trump gave Congress six months to make the Barack Obama program law, then proceeded to turn down every immigration deal with bipartisan support that came to him. In addition to the $25 billion he wants in funding he wants for his border wall, Trump says he won't let the illegal immigrants who came to the U.S. while they were minors to stay until Congress gives him the total overhaul of the legal immigration system he's also requested. Legislation that meets all four pillars of immigration plan has been unable to pass in Congress, and Trump has stood his ground on DACA, blaming Democrats for the program's lapse. But a rant on the matter on Sunday had the president's critics accusing him of feigning concern for DACA youth, whom he'd previously said he has great heart for and promised a legislative fix to their legal conundrum. Democratic Rep. Don Bayer of Virginia said that Trump had been attempting to gaslight the country for months with his claims that he wants to save DACA. California Democrat Kamala Harris likewise tweeted that Trump and his government doesn't actually want a solution to the dreamers' plight. They want red meat for their base, she said. They want to purge America's history as a nation of immigrants. On Easter morning, before he went to church with his family, President Trump lit up Twitter with a declaration that he was no longer in favor of protecting DACA youth because of caravans that are headed toward the United States' southern border. Border Patrol agents are not allowed to properly do their job at the border because of ridiculous liberal, Democrat, laws like catch. Caravans, coming, he said. Republicans must go to nuclear option to pass tough laws now. No more DACA deal, Trump used the news of the caravan to sound the alarm on immigration, hoping Republicans in the Senate would finally go nuclear, which means killing off the rule that 60 votes are needed to close debate. Currently, there are 51 Republicans in the Senate, with Vice President Mike Pence available to break a tie in the GOP's favor. Previously, Democrats, and then Republicans, changed the rules so a simple majority closes debate on judicial nominations, cabinet appointees, and also for Supreme Court justices, but under Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, a Republican, the legislative filibuster, as it's called, has stayed intact. Even Senate Republicans such as South Carolina's Lindsey Graham and Arizona's Jeff Flake would be likely to oppose immigration reform legislation that does not include protections for illegal immigrants who have lived in the United States as children and know it as home, though, defeating the purpose of Trump's plan to ram through a border bill that fully funds his wall. In his Easter Sunday tweets Trump blamed Mexico for putting the U.S. in a position where it even needs to build a border barrier. Mexico is doing very little, if not nothing, at stopping people from flowing into Mexico through their southern border and then into the U.S. They laugh at our dumb immigration laws, he said. They must stop the big drug in people flows, or I will stop their cash cow, NAFTA. Meanwhile, Trump said, these big flows of people are all trying to take advantage of DACA. They want in on the act, Trump has blamed the filibuster for his inability to get legislation on a variety of topics passed through the Senate. He's also blamed Democrats for Congress's inability to get something done on DACA. They had a great chance, the Democrats blew it. They had a great, great chance, Trump told reporters as he entered the Bethesda by the Sea Episcopal Church in Palm Beach, Florida on Sunday. In September, Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced the termination in six months of the Obama-era program that allowed immigrants who came to the United States as children, so-called dreamers, to stay in the country. DACA has not ended only because the legality of the program is being argued in court.